Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back. I just wanted to spend a little time showing you some problems with my mower. I earlier in the week I tried to start it and uh, I'd hit the primer and it'd run the primer gas out and stop. So got that to take care of, get it back running. Also my pull cord you can see right there you know it's frayed it's getting ready to break so gonna replace that too while I've got it up on the table working on it so I'm getting ready to give it a shot just to make sure that it's still not starting completely um, this one has always taken a few more squirts on the primer even when it's brand new so let's give it a shot I almost wanted to a few more squirts four five six see what it's doing it's just not working out at all so we'll get it up here take some things apart take a look at it well light might not be too great for you to see anything up here um, I'll go on anyway safety first anytime you're working on a lawnmower pull your spark plug wire off it can't start that way. Don't want any accidents to happen. Now, earlier in the week, I had my air cleaner off. Just look in there, make sure the primer was, you know, squirting all right. Um, my mower is about eight years old, and I haven't treated it the nicest. It's been abused. Um, I did notice that my air filter um, this thing is hard it's hard as a rock it's deteriorated it's sturdy so I went ahead and picked up a brand new filter for it um, filter in the case was just a dollar more than just what the filter was at Home Depot so went ahead and got the case too alright so what we've got to get down to this thing is we're going to take off this bolt and these should be all right. <clears throat> got one here that we need to remove and that should allow us to take the gas can and the carburetor both right off and then they're are some screws will separate the carburetor from the gas tank I think I got it wrong when I pointed a while ago. It's this one we're going to take off. First one was half inch, the other one's three eighths. Oh, that was pretty loose to begin with.
it's pretty loose. Undo this. Keep it on there. Try to keep some of the dirt out of it. And that just comes right off. We have a linkage here. And we have to get around. There we go. As fate would have it, I filled up my gas tank right before I tried to start it. So I have to get this back into the gas can. There's a screen here. I'm to try to slip it off. Look for any debris in that strainer. I'll be right back. All right, so what I've done, I uh, just took some Q-tips, got down in there, got what I could out of it. I don't have any carb cleaner here. Too lazy to go out and get any. Just to be honest with you. Um, so now I'm ready to put this back together. Um, we'll make sure we do some cleanup. Make sure all the all the surfaces are nice and clean. You know, with as much junk as I've got on this thing. We want a good seal back in between that diaphragm and the gas tank. Get out any kind of junk that we can. And that doesn't look too bad. And I'm going to do the same to the diaphragm. But I'm going to need both hands. So I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Did a little cleaning. Uh, it's a wonder what a paper towel and a screwdriver can do. Um, this guy looks totally different. You can actually see it a little bit now. Um, next project is probably going to be to replace that primer bulb. Um, as you can see, it's all cracked. Um, I'm sure that can't be good for it. Replacing that's not hard. Just push tab in there, tab in there, and it slips right out the front. Well, it's time to go back together. We're uh, get this thing oriented right again. There's the primer bulb. That'll go facing out. Um, Get it back on there good. I'm going to put the four screws in and tighten them down and I'll be back. Alright. I've got the, uh, I think I might have said four a while ago, but I've got the five screws in. Um, um, because there's a diaphragm there, I'm going to tighten them in kind of a criss cross pattern like you'd do a tire so that we get kind of even torque around them Not very tight, like I said, it's plastic, it can crack, especially being eight years old, exposed to sun. Uh, mine's out in the weather, you know, 24 7, 365. Um, so I'm gonna get this back on here. Um, remember, we got the, the two bolts one that go in there, one that comes in here, and uh. I think I'm going to spend a little time kind of cleaning this up a little bit, getting some junk out of there. We've got our link linkage we have to worry about. Um, and I want to kind of keep the dirt out. 
sorry if some of that noise is getting through. There's a helicopter going by. Um, kind of in the flight path for the uh, medevac. So that happens quite a bit. Um, let's get this tube cleaned off some. I've got a Q-tip, get in there and get some of that junk out. That's for air to go back into the carburetor. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's put it back together. Here, I've got my linkage back in place. Try to force that back up. Get a good seal in the back there. First bolt, stick that in, there we go, get it started, got our second bolt, get the hole aligned, there we go. I'm right-handed, so maybe this will go better. Oh, sorry, got to put you down again. All right, and we're back. Just had to wiggle things around. hand tight change back to my half inch just using my fingers on that bit of pressure back to my three-eighths good and tight and we've got to get the breather on now all right once again sorry for that that was an alarm I had set on my phone I'm a heart patient so I take medicine a few times a day and I set alarms on my phone to remind me to take my medicine. Especially this evening dose. I'm usually out doing something and I forget. Don't pay attention to what time it is. You know, we all get caught up in life. Um, <clears throat> so that just gives me a reminder wherever I'm at to go ahead and take it. All right. Ha. See what I did? I forgot to put that thing back in. So, off comes the air filter. Too much dirt. Get that slip back into place. There we go. All right. Got the hose back on. Filter back on. Put gas in it. Got my cap back on. Um, I was all set to put it back down on the ground, crank it up to see if it still if it works. 
then I remembered my cord problem. So I'm going to jump into that. Um, let's go ahead and get, get the spark plug unplugged again. And we'll um, start working on taking this whole cover off. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Looks like a bolt here, probably one on the other side. Yeah, I feel it. Got one up here. And that. Ah, one down here. So that should be enough to get that off. Alright, here's something I didn't expect. I, uh, I got off this one and the one over on the side. I kind of thought about this one, left it alone. And I took off the one down here, and it looks like the cover wants to come off. But there is something under the blade stock that's holding it on. So I'm going to get a wrench, take that off, take this cover off, and see what we got. Now for anyone wondering, um, this is a quarter inch. Get the extender, make it easier to turn. It's not really wanting to come out of there. There we go. Covers off. Let's look. I don't really see anything holding it. Maybe it just wasn't moving because of the cover. All right. So here we go. Lift this right off. Comes right up. Here's the inside. Uh, just got some grass, fin blades. So what I'm going to do is extend this all the way out. Now normally when you do something like this, most of these Briggs and Stratton, they have some kind of holes right in there. In this top cover to where you can jam a screwdriver right through there. Right through one of these holes to keep everything in in place keep it from turning well see I have a little problem I don't have a place to put a screwdriver to keep that thing from spinning backwards so what I'm gonna do is I have a block of wood I'm gonna pull this out as far as it'll go Put the block of wood in there and a wood clamp, hold it in place. Uh, we'll see how that works out. I'm going to need my knife or the scissors to, to cut this.
cord off. Be right back. All right, here we go. I've got my piece of wood in place. I've got this fully, the cord all the way out. Um, try to do is it does not work. wasn't too bad. Now, off with its head. What I'm going to do is pull this back out. I have the new cord uh, from the factory. Just seems to be long enough. I, I would like to have a couple extra feet on it, but beggars can be choosers. Now, back in through the hole. Try to get the right angle on there. Sorry, fly. Got it through there. Um, and I just put a simple overhand knot on the end. That's the way it came from the factory, so good enough for me. Um, pull this back. Get it locked in there good. Put some pressure on it. Yeah. <clears throat> so, going to work on the other end now. Um, let me get up there to the handle, pull it back. Alright, right, I've got my cord through the handle. This is the end that came out of it. And it looks like, like at the factory, they dipped this in something. Probably to keep it from coming on untied so with that I'm going to do a little different knot um, see if I can do this and show it to you it's a um, Start off with a granny knot. You know, one hand it's kind of tough. So there's a regular granny knot. And I'm going to take this, pull it back through a second time. Um, I'm also going to try to work this towards the bitter end. that up it's a little bigger knot and it sure isn't going to come undone um, I might go ahead and clip off some of this it's a little long to be uh, you know, it shouldn't matter it, it'll be inside the handle there so take a run the handle up that doesn't look too bad 
I can live with that much of the cord sticking out. Alright. So, what I'm going to do... This is the plan. I'm going to undo my block there and slowly let the cord wind up all the way and I'm hoping that once it's all the way in I'll have maybe six inches or so sticking out um, that's what I'm guessing anyway we'll see what happens Play brake cover back on. Stick that in and get it started. Good and tight. Uh, got everything back together. Put a spark plug wire back on. All right. Um, let's hit the uh, the prime button a few times. Uh, hold on to the blade brake. <laughs> That's perfect. That's what I was wanting to see. Just need to clean it up. A little TLC. And some attention. Um... I hope you found something valuable in this. Uh, Briggs and Stratton's, they're pretty easy to work on. Not much can go wrong with them. Um, I hope that I helped you solve your problem. If you'd like, hit subscribe or you know, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.